My name is Carl Alexander. I am the executive director of the Third Good Marshall Alliance. Uh, the Third Good Marshall Alliance is a school improvement initiative located here in Baltimore City, uh, dedicated to increasing the diversity in some of the city schools. Uh, we're focused on partnering with neighborhood schools with a catchment area uh, that includes a residential, where the residential makeup is much more diverse in terms of family income and race and ethnicity than is reflected in the local neighborhood school. Uh, the Marshall Alliance wants to partner with a set of such schools and try to work on areas of programming and practice that everyone who's involved with the school feels could be improved and also to work on neighborhood outreach so that we can get the word out that they've got a local school just a few blocks away that might be a great opportunity for their child. Uh, families that might not be thinking about attending, sending their child to the local neighborhood school otherwise. Baltimore uh, over the last 40 years, like most other industrialized and deindustrializing cities, has been hemorrhaging population. And that's been especially true with young families with school-age children and families who's with toddlers and preschoolers when they start looking ahead. Uh, if they're concerned about the quality of the education, they will, many of them will move out to one of the surrounding counties or send their child to an independent school, paying independent school tuition. Uh, if we can draw more families into our neighborhood schools and, and, and build bridges across communities that otherwise are highly segregated in our neighborhoods, uh, the potential is to, for that, that could be transformative. Uh, poor children we know from years of research. Uh, I'm a retired Hopkins University professor. Uh, I studied education issues locally uh, for many years, and one of, the things that's, one of the things that's well established in the literature is that poor children uh, come closer to reaching their academic potential if they're not burdened by schools and neighborhoods uh, that are dragged down by concentrated poverty. Schools with diverse enrollments can lift up those children. And the middle class children who attend those schools also benefit. They become more empathetic. They become more comfortable around children and families from different backgrounds. They're not growing up in a bubble of privilege that they might uh, do otherwise in segregated communities. Um, everybody's better off if we can have diverse communities that, uh, and schools that, uh, that are working well for families of different backgrounds. The Thurgood Marshall Alliance, the name of it was inspired by Chief Justice Marshall, by Justice Marshall uh, and the, uh, his good work in elevating the issue of school desegregation and integration. Uh, during his term as the lead counsel for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund and also while he was on the court as a, as a Supreme Court Justice. Uh, so I've been working hard on trying to get the Thurgood Marshall established here locally in Baltimore. We're making good progress. If we can do this work well, it has the potential to help many of Baltimore City's children, Baltimore, fam Baltimore City families, and eventually if we can spread out and service much of the city, uh, the, all of Baltimore City will be the beneficiary of a more, uh, having schools that are uh, in, enroll families of different backgrounds, building stronger communities and bringing, building stronger schools that way. Mm -hmm.